Hello everyone, John Frells to a Topspin Tennis. Are you struggling with your inside in forehand? You're gonna wanna watch this video. I've got Roger Federer absolutely demoralizing the ball on that shot. Enjoy the video. Before I get started, I have to give a shout out to Wally Friend. He's one of the loyal subscribers to the channel. He's always leaving comments, leaving some of his tips. So really appreciate it, Wally. I know you wanted the inside out forehand. Couldn't find that footage, but I had some inside in forehand of Federer. So thank you again. Let's show you three magic moves here on Federer's inside in forehand. He actually, this is a match situation on the practice courts in Cincinnati. He hits the serve. Opponent actually hits a pretty uh, a quality shot to his backhand. Federer is going to just basically neutralize the shot with a heavy topspin ball. So notice how he does that. And then immediately he knows that the opponent is going to go to his backhand side. Magic move number one is anticipation. This is something that happens when you've spent thousands of hours on the court. Federer knows that the opponent's going to try to go to that backhand side again. So the ball does go to the backhand court. But what Federer does is anticipates that, runs around his backhand, and hits a forehand. We know that Federer can hit, or most pros can hit their forehand 10, 15, 20% harder than their backhand. So why hit the weaker side? He knows if you're going to go to my backhand, I'm going to run around it and hit a forehand and punish you for it. So that's magic move number one is the anticipation. Magic move number two is hit the ball at the top of the bounce. Notice where he's making contact. This ball is still elevating. See how it's rising here? He hit the ball at the top of the bounce or on the rise. He hits at the top of the bounce. Notice his court position. He is still behind the baseline. So he's still able to attack from back here. Rec players, intermediate players, we may not be able to do so as well, but pros at any at this level can attack from multiple positions on the court. So he hits that ball at the top of the bounce. One other thing I want you to see is in this loading phase, look at his loading height compared to his hitting height. I did a video on Zverev and his forehand. I'm gonna put a link to that below. It's a great video on just showing you the differences between the loading and hitting phases. But notice how he's launched. Look at the verticality here, right? He, he was in that loading phase. He launches and look at that hitting phase. Big differential there. And let's show you magic move number three and that's really the finish. Notice when he, in the loading phase, talked about this before, how that right leg is the boss. He really sets this right side. And then once he makes contact, look at how he finishes. Notice how he's on that left foot. So just a beautiful transition from loading from the right side, loading on that right leg. He's pulling through and across, compresses the ball. He's on, it's almost like he's the hammer and the ball's a nail. He compresses it and finishes across the body and on that left side. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for your support. If you found value in this video, can you please hit that like button and that subscribe button? Also, if you can share the video with anybody you think this could provide value to as well, I'd appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a great day.